beautifully handcrafted leather footwear on display at Royal Diadem Footwear Garage. Believe it or not, this is where all the beautiful shoes you saw are made. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome Daryl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what are you up to? We are making a pair of shoes for a client. 30 year old Benjamin Isiam Amanfo is CEO of this startup. I started making shoes two years ago after I met my boss, Samuel Anderson. He made good shoes for me to buy. And then I told him I wanted to work with him and then he agreed to teach me and then we started working together. It was a tough decision to make. Charlie decided to leave the pharmacy work and then do this one because I had the love for this one. It was a big decision for me and then it brought pressure from all over, from family, from friends. And then we just had to sustain and then move on. But today, Benjamin looks back with no regrets. With the little money he had and assistance from friends, he converted his Porsche into a workshop where he produces five handmade shoes a day. Once the shoes are done, they go on display at his boutique close by. So which perform the core of your client base? The average Ghanaian can buy from Royal Diadem because it's affordable, handmade, authentic, and then best book. And then the high class can also buy from us because it's quality and it's made in Ghana, made to last. Benjamin employs a lot of social media too and his customers are happy with the work he does. I believe in made in Ghana, you understand? I believe in Ghana and I believe what Ghana has for. Uh, it's people. I met him at a wedding with some sleek shoes and I was like, wow, this thing is crazy. So I asked him where he bought it from and he was like, he was the one who made it. So I was really surprised with it because it's, it's, just, it's, like, it's very nice. Benjamin is inspired by Ghana's leading shoemaker, CEO of Hosman Shoes, Tony Senaya, his plan to acquire more equipment to be able to produce more. Okay, my immediate plans are to get some machines, import some stuff and then get more hands to help us get the work going and then mm. investors or like people who would want to support us can are you, are you giving yourself any timelines? So hopefully by the end of the year there, there should be an improvement. Great. Um, what do you consider your greatest challenge right now? My greatest challenge is the competitors around uh, um, and yeah, are hoping to match up with them. Alright, so I intend to try out some of the shoes here. What's your shoe size? Uh, 45. 45, 45. I have a 45. Yeah, this will look good on you. Alright, so I'm going to try it out. Ow! Not bad, is it? Do join us next week for another edition of the Joy Business Fast.